Hi, this is Millie Kay, and it's Friday, June 9th, 2017. The subject of today's video is the Palermo Tunnel inside the Oroville Dam. And there are other tunnels inside the dam. This particular tunnel goes from the reservoir side through the dam and has an outlet portal on the, the uh the downstream side of the dam and you can see right here it's not the greatest uh, satellite view but the outlet portal is right here for the Palermo tunnel and then the water comes through here is the uh, the start of the Palermo canal and when they built the dam they had uh, dammed up the Feather River so the Palermo canal had lost its source and so now the water comes from the reservoir and into the Palermo Canal. And I'll be talking about the tunnel later, but for now I want to show you about the canal. And on this map you can see this is the uh, Oroville Reservoir. The dam is here. And this is the Thermalito Diversion Pool. And then Oroville area is around in here and then if you go down south is Palermo and if you would just for a minute focus on this uh, Thermalito diversion pool area right here because I need to uh, enlarge this map in order for you to see the Palermo Canal so with this enlargement here's the diversion pool here and now you can see the the Palermo Canal. This is where it comes out of the the tunnel at the dam and then it winds its way around. It's a very winding path and it sort of doubles back on itself and I won't put you through the inch by inch trip all the way to Palermo but here's where you where you end up when you follow that. So here it's coming down, still twisting and curving. And then it gets to this point right here. And then it's no longer the uh, Palermo Canal. It goes off down here and it's called South Ditch. And over here it had, it, there's an irrigation ditch that doesn't have a name at least not on Google and so I'll show you what it looks like from the satellite view here I am coming in the Palermo Canal and then you get to this point where one offshoot goes over here in the irrigation uh, ditch um, and then the other water the other direction it goes is under the road and then it's called the South Ditch and I don't know if South Ditch is just another um, name for the Palermo Canal down here so I'm not going to really get into that right now there's lots of waterways lots of canals and uh, irrigation ditches and um, so I'm not really sure if South Ditch is significant as far as the name goes because I think it used to be called the Palermo Ditch and this would be the southern part but I don't want to get into all of that right now so anyway I'll show you the street view of that area and this is where it goes into this irrigation ditch and then it goes this way and becomes the South Ditch and I'll show you a little closer view of that and as you can see this little irrigation ditch thing is um, probably feeding these orchards and then this is even closer so that you can see these uh, these things that regulate the water flow so 
now if I take you back and show you um, this is just a Google to and from map so if you were driving a car and we started here at Oroville Dam and then if we come down here and we would get to South Ditch and or Palermo and um, this shows it as 12 to 13 miles but that's you know if you were going on the roads following the path of that winding Palermo Canal is uh, would be longer so that should give you an idea of uh, you know what the Palermo Canal covers and then we'll go back to the dam where the um, where the outlet is so here's the dam and then the uh, outlet structure is in here and then uh, this is the Palermo Canal and if you go about half a mile I think it is uh, the Palermo Canal comes along and goes under the Kelly Ridge penstock and I covered that in my video of June 8th when I talked about the Kelly Ridge powerhouse and penstock and this penstock basically has um, they have a way to get into the penstock and open up the pipe and valve so that water can be taken directly from the penstock and sent in the Palermo Canal in case there's a time when they can't get the water uh, from the Oroville Reservoir. And it's uh, inside this uh, penstock, that valve is 40 cubic feet per second is the capacity. So that's what this canal must need in order to keep itself going. So now let's go to the library, the UC Davis Library, and look at the bulletin uh, of the Department of Water Resources. It's the California State Water Project, Volume 3, Storage Facilities, and it's called Bulletin Number 200. It's not a small bulletin, though, because it has like 500 and something pages. So what I'm going to do for this video is um, just use the search feature to kind of navigate through this document and I'll be reading and summarizing some of the information about the Palermo outlet and uh, Palermo tunnel and let me get to the first part here. So. If we look here, the uh, Palermo Tunnel is under the heading of Outlet Works, and it's along with the, the River Outlet, that's the River Valve Outlet System, and then here we have the Palermo Outlet Tunnel. It's a 72-inch diameter lined tunnel with a valve chamber and energy dissipator immediately downstream of Grout Curtain. Control 12 inch fixed cone dispersion valve, capacity 40 cubic feet per second. So that's a 12 inch fixed cone. The river valve outlets uh, have 54 inch fixed cone dispersion valves. Same kind of valve, um, only the Palermo outlet is much smaller. And let me go here to the next one. And there's a multiplicity of tunnels uh, required in conjunction with the construction and operation of Oroville Dam and Edward Hyatt Power Plant. And construction of the tunnels was accomplished under four major contracts. The first diversion tunnel and the Palermo Outlet Tunnel were let under separate contracts in 1961. So that's when it was built is 1961. And the Palermo Outlet Tunnel, because the construction of Oroville Dam 
terminated the previous method of supply to Palermo Canal, a tunnel outlet was designed to make releases into the canal downstream of the dam. And that's what we were just uh, looking at is the um, the fact that they had dammed up the Feather River. So let me go to the next one. There's a couple of uh, engineering diagrams for the outlet tunnel. And it's on one of the pages that uh, some information about it is on, on, this, on the specs, is called uh, miscellaneous tunnels. So there are more tunnels. And the outlet tunnel is concrete lined and is approximately 2,430 feet long. The intake portal invert is set at elevation 548.25 feet. A six foot diameter level tunnel connects the intake with a valve chamber located immediately downstream of the intersection with the dam grout curtain. And downstream of the chamber, a six foot six inch horseshoe section continues to the downstream portal on a slight downhill grade. A wall divides the downstream reach into a water carrying passage and a three foot wide access walkway. The outlet valve is connected to a steel conduit which is embedded in a concrete plug immediately upstream of the valve chamber. The intake portal structure consists of a short length, approximately 27 feet of cut and cover tunnel section with invert elevation 549 feet. Slots are provided for a trash rack and bulkhead gate, and a bulkhead gate is held in place above the intake. To dewater the tunnel, a diver is required to connect a hoist rope to the gate and remove the pins which hold the gate in its storage position. And I'm not gonna continue with the um, technical details in this area um, of the of this bulletin uh, it would be probably beyond the scope of of this video I'm just trying to give you a general overview and during construction of Oroville Dam Water for Palermo Canal was obtained from Oroville Wyandotte Irrigation District's Kelly Ridge Penstock. And that's what I was talking about, about uh, 2,600 feet downstream of the outlet portal. And what that is, is a 16 inch turnout pipe connects to an access door in the penstock. And um, the buried turnout pipe terminates near the canal with a 10 inch diameter 40 cubic foot per second rated discharge valve enclosed in a reinforced concrete energy dissipator. And um, so that's the part I was telling you about that if there's ever a point when they can't get water from the reservoir, they can just take it directly out of that pen stock. And the next section. Um, Initial work on the 2,430 foot long, six foot diameter tunnel consisted of diverting drainage at the intake and outlet portals. The upstream portal was cut in moderately to strongly weathered, moderately hard, blocky amphibolite and deep soil cover at slopes of one and a half to one and two to one above the bench. Because of the blocky nature of the rock at the intake portal, drill steel was installed to serve as crown bars to support the arch. And so there we are getting pretty technical again. And I'm gonna continue on. Uh, the valve chamber and tunnel plug are located at the grout curtain for Oroville Dam Tunnel and then it gives the station number. Um, the valve chamber was moved 25 feet upstream from the design location, primarily to take advantage of better rock conditions, 
but also to locate the tunnel plug and grout curtain coincident with the grout curtain for the dam. And construction of the Palermo outlet started before design of the dam was finalized. And I think that's all for that area. And let me see here. Yeah, that just continues on with more technical details. So I think I'll just um, end that discussion about the, the tunnel with that. And I want to show you this uh, website that I found. And I'll put a link to this in the description box for this video. It's uh, uh, the Palermo Community.net page. And on it, they give some interesting uh, kind of quick facts that go back to the 1800s about the Palermo history. And all of the Butte County history is really fascinating, but I thought this would be uh, interesting for people interested in the Palermo area. And Palermo is named after the uh, city of uh, Palermo in Sicily, Italy. And it was a vacation spot for the Hearst family. So it's just rich with history. And I think you might enjoy that if you like local history of, about the uh, Oroville and uh, Butte County area. So I'm going to end this video with this is a Google shot from if we were standing on top of the dam looking down. This is where that outlet portal is, and this is the Palermo Canal starting its way down to its destinations. So I appreciate your viewing my video. I hope you will like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you later.